for viewing this demonstration of the Amazing Charts Practice Management System. Our practice management system is tightly integrated with our, the Amazing Charts EHR. With the click of a button, we can launch the practice management system. The system is organized really by user role. So there's a section for the front desk, there's a bookkeeping screen, a billing screen, a reporting screen, which is where all the reports are housed for the system, and then an administration screen, which is where all your practice settings will get defined during the implementation process. For today's focus, we're going to look at the front desk screen as a whole and then place a specific focus on the appointment scheduler. To start with, we're looking at the front desk screen here, and there's a variety of panes open with different features in them. The main pane here is the front desk activities. This is where we can launch the appointment scheduler, we could do new patient registration, and we could do charge entry. Now, because of the integration with the Amazing Charts EHR, there's not going to be a lot of cause to do any manual charge entry. However, the functionality is available and it's easy to get to from the front desk screen. From here, we can also manage referrals, manage prior authorizations, recalls, view the patient information sheet, etc. Over here, we have the patient search pane. Well, you can search for patients by name, social security number, date of birth, number, variety of ways of looking up patients. There's also the manage appointments pane. From here, we could either manually check eligibility for the patient, we could open their chart, we could view their details screen, and we could also do check-in functions. So we could mark a patient as being checked in or we could mark that they've missed their appointment or that they've been seen. This allows some appointment management without launching the scheduler. That's the outstanding recall summary. This is a summary view of any recalls that are due for patients so the front desk staff can manage that. For starters we're going to launch the appointment scheduler. We're going to click the link here and our scheduler is going to open. The Amazing Charts Practice Management System has a lot of capacity for customization. One of the biggest ways that that can be seen is here on the scheduler. As you can see, we've custom colored and we have different schedules and different layouts for our two main providers. We have our doctor and then we have a nurse practitioner. However, this practice also does flu shot clinics and they don't run all the time. So my front desk person uses this schedule as their standard view, but if they click the down arrow here, they can easily view another schedule for their medical assistant, which is who runs those flu shot clinics. And we can get right back to our standard view with the click of a button. And now we can see our two main schedules. Appointment scheduling is easily done by looking up the patient name. So I'm going to search for a patient with the last name of Andrews. I only had one patient with that last name, so she was immediately selected. Had I returned more results for Andrews, I could just select the one that I was looking for. So now that I have her selected, I'm going to click on the desired time slot. I have an opening right here for my nurse practitioner. I'm going to double click so it knows the patient name, the location, so I just need to let it know what the reason for visit is. So I've got a sick visit. This patient needs to come in and see the practitioner. By default, the duration is set to 40 because that's what I defined in my practice settings. However, if I only have 25 minutes to give the patient, I can do an override there and change that and now I'm going to click Save to add this appointment to the schedule. If for whatever reason I had selected the wrong time or the patient called and wanted a different time, There's a, there are two very, very easy ways of rescheduling the appointment uh, right here from the schedule. So I can either drag and drop to either a different schedule, uh, so I could put her on the doctor's schedule, or I could just drag it to a different time. So I'm going to move it down about a half an hour. It's going to prompt me to review the detailment screen. Everything looks okay, so I'm going to then that appointment has been rescheduled. Another way of doing it is a cut and paste. So I'm going to right click on this appointment and I'm going to say cut and then I'm going to go over here to the doctor schedule and I'm going to put her at 1 p.m. So I'm going to select that time slot, right click and say paste. It's again going to show me the details on the modify appointment screen. I'm going to click save and that appointment is now here on the other provider schedule. If I'm on the scheduler and a new patient calls and 
they've never been seen before, I can right click anywhere on the schedule and select register new patient. Because I have them on the phone and they're not in the office filling out paperwork, I'm probably not going to collect their address and their phone number. So for this quick and easy registration, I only need three pieces of information. I need their name and then I need their gender and date of birth. So she's a female and I'm going to enter her date of birth and then those are the only required pieces of information so I can just click Save and so now select it and then she selected here I'm gonna click this time slot just select a reason for the visit so she says new patient by default that's 45 minutes and that's fine I can leave that there and I'm gonna click Save and so now I've registered the patient and scheduled their first appointment. The last piece of the scheduler that I'd like to review is available versus unavailable time. So for example, on Dr. Costello's schedule, his unavailable time is yellow and his available time is green. So he's available from 8.30 in the morning till 5 o'clock at night. If for whatever reason he wanted to extend his hours for the day and take appointments from 5 to 6 p.m., I can do that from the scheduler. So I'm going to click in the first cell, drag down, so I've selected from 5 to 6 p.m. I'm going to right click in this time block and I'm going to select override availability and I want to make this time available. It allows me to enter a note and so I'm going to say he's working late, click enter. And that time is now available on the schedule and I can create appointments from 5 to 6 p.m. where normally the system would tell me he's unavailable. And we have gone over the pieces of the scheduler and in our next clip we will be going over managing referrals and prior authorizations and finishing up the, the demonstration for the front desk screen. Thank you very much for your time.